it's Ashley again. I hope everyone's been well. I um, obviously have been out of the loop. Once again, I'm not keeping up with the videos like I should, but it's the thought that counts, and I'm constantly thinking about it. And today I said, you know, I need to take a break and get to it. I'm trying to get through writing a final paper right now, and it's just like, um, I will get there. But I decided I deserve a little bit of fun. Since I wrote a few pages, I'm going to upload a video. And um, I have somewhere to be tonight. So, of course, um, I'm going to do my makeup and um, eventually my hair. I like to sit in my top turban. Um, but as you can see, I have quite a bit of blemishes and pimples and redness. And it's just kind of been crazy. Um, I guess it's just stress coming through my skin, um, which isn't very good. But that's okay because... We have makeup. So I'm going to show you um, a new routine that I've been using just because I've, I don't have isolated breakouts. I kind of have, you know, just all over the place. Um, so I'm going to use my cream concealer palette that I had purchased from Romwe. And I like to use the yellow just as, it, oh, I have started with moisturizer. I don't have anything else on my skin except for moisturizer. But I'm going to start with the yellow. And just randomly, wherever I have some redness, lay it over. It doesn't have to be too precise because you'll put your foundation over the top of it and it will help blend it all when you do so. I don't know what's up with my skin. It's been insane. I'm sure some of you can relate. So I'm just going to stick the yellow, especially around my T-zone because that's where it gets really, really red. And you can still see some of the, the breakouts through the concealer, but that's okay because this is just the first layer. We're going to build it up. So this lighting is terrible. I don't know if you can see, I just have some random white splotches now that's actually yellow from the concealer on my face. And then I'm going to use my usual foundation routine because I'm still not to the bottom of these two foundations and I'm so over them. But it's okay because I said I was going to use it and I have purposely not purchased another foundation because I said I'm not going to until these two are gone. So I'm still using my uh, L'Oreal True Match. This one um, is just, I guess, the original. And this one is the Lumi. I will never buy the Lumi again. I cannot stand going home at the end of the day and my face looks oily. And it's not oily. It's just wet from the foundation. And it drives me crazy. I get home and the first thing I do is wipe off the makeup because it just don't. Maybe that's what's wrong with my skin. I don't know. Well, I'm sure there's lots of things wrong with it. But. So anyways, I'm just going to take put a, a few dots all over my face and then I'm going to take my whoop, put an eyelash on it. I'm going to take my sponge that is obviously it's Sunday so it seems to be clean today and I'm going to pump a few dots onto my sponge just like that and then dab it all around my face. Now you don't want to like wipe you want to pat in with the sponge just to get a nice even application. And you also don't want to wipe away the concealer that you just put onto your face. So we're going to go all the way around until you get it nice and blended. I'm just going to show you um, my concealer coverage today because you guys have seen my other routine. Um, but I am going to do two more videos. I'm going to do one with using my cream concealers to um, do a little bit of contour. I was playing with that the other day and found something cool that I like to do. And then um, I'm going to do a third video. I know three in one day. What? I'm going to do another video with um, a new mascara that I found. And in, I wasn't going to buy mascara, but I actually found a pretty cool deal at Ulta and I had to take him up on it so anyways I have now blended in my foundation and as you can see there's still oops, there's still a few blemishes sitting there but that's okay because I'm now gonna use the palette to kind of create my own 
sorry for the text messages. Right, my own skin tone to blend in and go over where there's still a few showing. And this typically gives you the coverage that you need. Depends on how bad your breakouts are. And there we go. I've covered all of the redness and the breakouts. I have a few moles here and there, but I don't mind those showing through. And um, and then just really quick, I'm going to take my lighter color and just do a little bit of highlighting underneath my eyes. Just to cover some of those dark circles. Okay. So there you go, you can see how I use my um, cream foundations to cover some blemishes and pimples that I don't want to be seen. Um, and I did that underneath the foundation, put the foundation over top, and then just did some touch-ups um, at the end. So now I'm going to proceed um, just to do my usual routine. And um, if you have any questions about that, you can see some of my other videos that I've posted, or you can leave some comments below. Uh, thumbs up if you thought that this was helpful. Thumbs down if you were like, girl, you don't know what you're doing. Let me show you. If you don't like what I'm doing or you think I could do better, I would love to hear that um, as well. So you can leave me comments down below. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you soon. Ciao.